My dear students, I am Sir Jasir and I am your chemistry teacher. I will teach you chemistry of the ninth class. So today we will start from the chapter number 3, whose name is Periodic Table and Periodicity of the Properties. Students, to start this topic in this chapter, I must share some advice to you that when you go into the market and you want to have some very precious thing, you have to pay its cost. Similar cases with the study. You have to pay the cost to have the very good marks in the form of your efforts, your materialistic knowledge, and your qualitative wording. Students, this is very important for the papers. So come to the point. Our topic is discussion. The Brinotrites, New Legs of Taves, Mentally Periodic Table. My dear students, a lot of the scientists have come who discovered a lot of elements on the basis they make more and more discoveries. And students, you will be able to study in this chapter that how the elements were arranged, how we can benefit from this to resolve the problems, etc. Today, the first topic is Dobriner Trites. Dobriner was the German chemist and he did a lot of work on discovery of the elements. He arranged the elements in the group of three that is called Trites. As it is obvious from their name, Trites, it's me, three groups. He arranged the elements of the group of three. It's me that on the basis of this arrangement, this arrangement ki base par kya proof hota hai ki jo central atom ka atomic mass hoga, wo first or third ke average ke equal hoga. He arranged these three elements. Calcium atomic mass 40. Strontium atomic mass 88, barium atomic mass 137. Agar first and third element ko plus karke 2 pe divide karte hai, it's me we are taking its average value. So you will be observed that it will be equal to the atomic mass of the central or the middle element that is strontium. So it was the arrangement of the Dobriner. But when Dobriner arranged these elements, in all over the world, scientists investigated and researched. So its arrangement could not have a beneficial result because when this strategy was applied over the other elements, then it was not applicable. So it's applica it was not applicable on the other. So its attempt was failed. After that, Kenny Zero discovered the atomic masses of the elements. So what did happen? On the discovery of atomic masses, the next new land, who was the British chemist, came in the field of chemistry, he worked wondered. He arranged the element on the basis of the increasing order of the atomic masses. When he arranged the atomic masses, he it compared with the musical arts and he observed that repetitions in the chemical properties were repeated in the periodic manner. What did happen? When he observed that first group element have hydrogen, in the next element also have the chemical properties similar to the hydrogen. So this was the similar chemical repetition as Dobriner have some demerits in his field. Similar case, the Newton also have the demerits. His first demerit was that there was no space for the undiscovered element. Number one and number two. The noble gases were not known. They were discovered, but they were not named as noble gases. After that, these two efforts were made by these two great scientists. Third one, Mendeleev. Mendeleev was a Russian chemist. 1860, he discovered, he arranged the 63 known elements on the increasing order of the atomic masses. And he also observed when he arranged according to the increasing order of atomic masses, the similar properties would come in the same column. I must share some views. This is the periodic table. The vertical lines will be named as 
columns and the horizontal lines were named as periods or rows. So when he arranged 63 elements on the basis of increasing order of atomic masses, he observed similar properties of elements were come in the same column having the similar chemical properties. Its explanatory point is that ki agar pehle element ke last shell mein ek electron hai to uske agle element ke last shell mein bhi ek electron hoga uske last shell mein bhi ek electron hoga is tarah se ye jo properties thi wo relate kar rahi After that on own conclusions he made his own law that is named as Mendeleev periodic law Its statement is that Properties of the elements are the periodic functions of the atomic masses. In its explanation, I have explained to you that when they were arranged on the basis, the similar chemical properties were come in the same column. Similar case, Mendeleev ke periodic table may be kuch dissimilarities paayegi, kuch demerits paayegi. Or the first demerit ye tha, ke he was failed to explain the position of isotopes. As we are now at this modern periodic table, we are going to discuss about the position. So, Mendeleev ke periodic table mein is ki exact position place nahi ki gai thi. Number that, wrong order of the atomic masses. Atomic masses ka horizontal or vertical order reinvestigate karne pa, it was wrong. Either the scientists have compartmentalized these elements in a very classical way, but when they were be investigated and researched by the others, a lot of the demerits have used to be come out. Similar case was that wrong order of the atomic masses that were suggested to the element and it was wrong. It's mean that the atomic masses were given the elements, they were wrong. They were neglected. My dear students, this was my last lecture. If you have any feedback, what is plus, what is minus, what should I do, and what you have concept, misconceptions in your mind, you can give me the feedback. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.